In this video, I'll be testing the generator for the uh, Rambler American. And this is the motor test. So that's the specifications there. And the, this here, all it is, is a motor. It's just a simple electrical motor. Um, if you follow the uh, diagrams, uh, the electrical, there's an actual electrical diagram for this on the manual. That's, by the way, for me, it's just beautiful that they have so much information on these manuals. Just complete, complete. There's a very little that, uh, that uh, you can't, uh, it's not listed there. So anyways, the, uh, uh, this one actually has an F, it says F there, and an A terminal. The A is barely visible there. But anyways, the A is always the bigger one. And if you watch my previous videos, this here is just, there's a winding here and there's another winding there and then this winding one of the wires goes to one of the brushes and that brush it has to be the one that's insulated the other one is just attached to the ground or to the case here without any insulation so first thing one of the things that you have to do is check for the insulation make sure it's all right and it's uh, not a difficult test um, so by following this circuit I've seen some people jump a wire from here to there um, I don't know if it's a different generator or what, but that's wrong because these are opposite terminals. If I just leave, remember this is an electromagnet. So in my previous video, I showed you how we have to connect one terminal to here, the other terminal to here. So this here is set. Um, and of course, since one of the brushes is connected to the case, it has to be connected to the ground. So I could either put two leads ground leads one to here and one to the actual housing because remember this here is insulated so we need a terminal here but electricity will still flow through the system and go to here so it's not really mandatory and you'll see so I'm just going to connect this little jumper cable but you'll see how it's not necessary to uh, that little tab there and uh, one terminal to the A, and the other terminal to the housing. Once I tap this, it should start to spin. And sure enough, there it is. Let me just uh, clip this on here so it stays there. If I remove this, see the sound changes, but it's still still spins and in fact turning the uh, if I tap it it actually speeds up as you can see and this is sort of what the uh, voltage regulator does okay the uh, breaker on the uh, battery charger is shutting on and off but sometimes this this jumper cable here it actually slows it down because I'm thinking that the electromagnet works sometimes against the force of the uh, of the uh, motor here. If I just let go, it doesn't. You see the sound changes. Wait till the breaker kicks back in, and we really should be doing this with the battery. That's why it's stopping and turning on all the time. The breaker on it is very weak so maybe if I give it a push but anyways it goes to show that you connect that jumper not to the other terminal at least not on this generator I don't know what about the other one gentleman connected this across there I don't know how that would help but this also serves to help for polarizing but I'll do that in a separate video so there you go let's try to speed it up if I tap on it as you can see and it speeds up 